gonna have to excuse my outfit. No, God! Well, hello there. <laughs> Today I've got one of your favorite things ever, and it's three simple upcycles. I just always have thrifted clothes around my house that just need a little bit of a touch up like a little bit of a, a glow up so that I'll actually wear them and love them. So I have three of them for you today. So exciting. <laughs> Transition. Would you just check these white jeans out? I'm very excited about them because they thrifted them recently for 69 cents. <laughs> you heard it here first, people, and they fit me real well. I had an idea of what to do with these jeans, and I told you guys all about it on my Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna toot my own horn here. Um, everyone needs to know about this right now. I just thrifted these jeans from the thrift store. Yes, that's what thrifting means, thrifted from the thrift store for 69 cents. And I'm gonna do it today. And my idea is splatter paint jeans. <laughs> so I scoured Pinterest on ideas for what exactly I could do with the splatter paint on these jeans. And this is the photo that really sparked me. I like this design more than like the little tiny splatters. I like the big like, oh, a paint can spilled on me. You know, I have some acrylic paint and huh, I can't decide what color to do though. These are all the paints that I have. Look at all these choices. Look at this. Look, look at how many choices I have. So this is the point where I get incredibly indecisive, like more indecisive than usual because I can't mess this up. You guys, these jeans were 69 cents. <laughs> Sense. Like they didn't even cost me a full dollar and that's something that's amazing. When jeans fit you and they cost less than a dollar, yeah, I can't mess this up. I'm sorry I'm getting too dramatic, but you know what? This is my life. This is real. I need to shut up. So just give me, just give me like a minute or two and I'll, I'll make a decision on the color. to excuse my outfit. No, God! I didn't really make a decision on the colors. I figured I would just kind of like Jackson Pollock it, you know, just like see what I'm feeling in the moment, splatter stuff everywhere and see how it looks. Wish me luck. I only did a few things so far, but I think I want to do some over, like layer the colors. So I need all this to dry and then I'm going to layer some more and then I'm going to do the back too. While we're waiting on that to dry, we can start on the next upcycle, which is this shirt. I bought the shirt because I love the print. The print is like this neon orange and pink and I just love that color combination. But you know, it's kind of boxy, a little bit big, grandma-ish, might I say. Don't mean to offend. But I think that it could be a fun little statement piece if I just kind of figure it out. I can remove one of the pockets. Maybe I can take it in even a little bit and then make the sleeve shorter. I'm gonna try that.
Okay, so I'm done with taking it all in. It's a little bit slimmer now and more flattering, I'd say. Took the pocket off. I did take the sleeves up, but it's just not doing it for me. It still looks old lady-ish. <laughs> I think that the dead giveaway actually is these ruffles up here on the like shoulder seam. It just makes it like more poofy and no good. I also had the idea of kind of rolling up the sleeves and then tacking them in place. I'm worried that I didn't make the right decision with this because I don't want to waste this fabric. Maybe I could take this pocket off as well. That would probably be better. And then maybe I won't have to worry about these because I don't want to have to do that. Maybe I just need to do that. Okay, now our last up cycle is. Oh. This very interesting thermal shirt. flattering thing in the world, especially not with these jeans at all. I am not the biggest fan of three-quarter sleeves, but I liked the thermal material and I liked how long it was and blah blah blah. I thought it could I thought I could make it maybe look cool. I think what I need to do is make it a deeper V. Yeah, I just don't see this as a flattering neckline. Like this, I'm thinking, I don't really know what else I would do with it. I'm scared to cut this material. I'm afraid it's gonna unravel. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna try and like seam rip here and up a little bit and see what I can do to kind of make that go down a little bit deeper. We'll see. Okay, so as I was seam ripping that, I discovered that this folded over hem right here is just like one piece on its own. So I couldn't take it, take the shirt and actually just like recreate that kind of look. But as I'm cutting this, as I'm cutting it up, I don't think that it frays. So I might just, I might just cut the shape of the neckline that I want and just leave it raw. Cause I've thought about it and I really don't know how else I would, I would do it. Cause this is just not, not flattering as a boat neck at all. Or what if I did that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What if I just cut it off like right here? I'm gonna try that. I'm so glad I finally did another one of these quick alterations type of videos because stuff just lays around and I don't wear it and it's so sad. Like I've been wanting to wear this top. Okay, getting ahead of myself. Let me show you how everything turned out. really surprised at how much of a difference just cutting this top made for me at least I like it so much more and I'm glad that I thought of this little 
indent idea because I really like that. But the other two, I really like too. The splatter paint jeans, I don't know. I don't love them. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Like, I don't love the colors that I used, but they are really cool looking. And I feel like the painter's, painter's outfit look, like the white tee with the white jeans, is pretty cool and I think I like that. So hopefully I'll get some good use out of them. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.